For the first time in history, a Marvel character won a Golden Globe. We, we just made history with this nomination. Then it gets better. Here are the nominees for performance by an actress in a supporting role. Angela Bassett in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. This wasn't the first time she got nominated for an Oscar. Her first was 30 years ago. The nominees for Best Actress are Angela Bassett, What's Love Got to Do With It? And the Oscar goes to... As one of the greatest actresses ever, oh. have you ever felt robbed when it came to Oscar nominations or winning? <laughs> <laughs> it was almost 30 years ago since your first Oscar nomination for What's Love Got it To Do? It was much easier. Which is, that must have given your career an, an, an insane boost. The timing was different then. Black women just weren't weren't in, in a very significant way shown in, in movies during that right. time. So you had to wait for the timing to be right. You know, wait. What's heartbreaking is that her character had to die to get this nomination. Mourned your losses. So what did you think when you when you read the script? When I got to that page and got to that moment and uh I didn't like it at all. I was so disappointed. I spoke to Ryan. Next time I spoke to Ryan, he called me on the phone. Ryan Coogler, like, the director. Ryan Coogler. Yeah. I was like, Ryan, please, you don't want to do this. You don't <laughs> No, why do you do this, right? People are gonna be so upset, <laughs> you know? I want to see your mama go. Queen Ramonda might be her last performance in a major production, and this nomination may be her last shot. So in this video, I'll tell you why she deserves to win an Academy Award this time. I am queen of the most powerful nation in the world! Oh. And my entire family oh, is God. gone! Oh, oh, Have I not given everything? Don't do this to them! Wait a minute. Every time you see Angela Bassett on screen, she was just a steady force. You could see that she's a seasoned actress. She knows what she's doing. And even in a minor role, she's very reliable. Although she had been in some fine movies early in the 90s, like Boys in the Hood and Malcolm X, she didn't achieve acclaim internationally and became a household name until she made the biopic of Tina Turner in 1993. What's love got to do with it? Anna May sang at the club last night. She knocked everybody out. No. Mr. Tennis, I got a flail, mama. The kind would uh, sell records. This is a performance that would require a lot because if you know anything about Tina Turner, she was not just a soul singer like Aretha Franklin. She was a rock icon. Along with her husband at the time, Ike Turner, she had a stage performance that was both inspirational and intimidating for the likes of Mick Jagger. People wanted to be as powerful as she was on stage. And so for Angela Bassett to perform and to pull it off to be Tina Turner in a movie was asking quite a lot. Come on now, I'm asking you nice stuff. And I'm saying no nice. You know, it's come, come on. This cake. Come, come on. Cake. You can eat some cake. Yeah. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Shut up, buddy. Shut up. Jackie, it's all right. It's not all right unless a motherfucker piled on you. If you had any sense, you'd get out of here, too. You have me. Oh, get you the fuck out of here. The movie has a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes, and she won a Golden Globe. This performance, this tour de four before. This tour de force performance made her a household name. Everyone took notice because she was nominated for an Oscar. And she was nominated for an Academy Award. And what are you mad about? I'm mad she didn't win. Whether Angela Bassett should have won or not, all I'm gonna say is that 1993 was a different time. She followed in the wake of that with some other you know, popular films like Waiting to Exhale, How Stella Got Her Groove Back, which were more aimed at, I guess, female audiences. But she she could prove that she could do other things. She appeared in the film Strange Days, which a little bit more of a sci-fi feel to it. In the 2000s, though, her star kind of waned a little bit. She was still making movies, but not these big roles that uh, were starring roles. Uh, 
she did also start to appear in TV series. She did win an Emmy, actually, for uh, her performance in the Rosa Parks story. So she had some success there. The only film from that era that I remember that I really enjoyed was uh, Aquila and the Bee. Great family movie where she rejoined her co-star, Lawrence Fishburne. She appeared in the Mission Impossible movies. This is the CIA's mission. Angela Bassett. She just exudes intelligence, credibility. If he had held on to the plutonium, we wouldn't be having this conversation. This team would be dead. Yes, they would. That's the job. And kind of minor roles until she made the Olympus Has Fallen, uh, London Has Fallen movies and then started to appear in the MCU. As we see, that proved to be a very wise decision because as a strong, powerful woman, she definitely has a presence on screen, something that we've talked about before, something that Paul and I both find very attractive in a woman. It has always been our policy to never trade vibranium under any circumstance, not because of the dangerous potential of vibranium, but because of the dangerous potential of you. When that death happened, I thought that was the end of Angela Bassett's career in cinema. Then, a miracle happened. At January 22nd, 1994, I stood on this stage and accepted the Golden Globe for what's love got to do with it. The late Toni Morrison said that your life is already a miracle of chance just waiting for you to order its destiny. But in order for that destiny to manifest, it requires patience and it requires a true sense of yourself. You were shocked when they called your name. I was so, I was like, yeah. Because we waited a long time to see you get back up there again. Long, long, long time. I don't do it for awards, but it's always nice to be recognized. And you deserve it. You deserve it. Hopefully this nomination is going to put her in more bigger roles and we can appreciate all that she has done in cinema over the years. I'm thinking about my mom. She said, this girl, she she could be all that. I want her to be all that. She's got it. And you are. Oh, thank <laughs> you. All that. Thank you. Thank you. In my opinion, Angela Bassett deserves to win that Academy Award. And who knows? Maybe in 2023, the timing is right. Thanks for watching.